Good morning, friends. Glad to be with you this morning. I got a question for you. Have you ever saved something? And I don't mean like tucking something away to keep for later. I mean like rescued. Have you ever rescued something? Um, maybe you've rescued an animal that was injured. Or maybe you stopped something from falling or breaking and you rescued that thing before it broke. Or maybe you stopped one of your friends or a brother or sister from running out in the road after a ball. Um, we have lots of rescuers and helpers in our communities that do that, right? You can think of policemen and firemen, rescue people when they're in danger. Um, lifeguards at the pool are there in case something happens so that they can rescue someone. Well, as we're talking about the Ten Commandments, I thought it would, it's important for us to make sure we understand the people that God gave the Ten Commandments, his Ten Good Rules for Living. We want to understand the people that he gave them to. He gave the Ten Commandments to the people of Israel. And those people have been in the country of Egypt for 400 years. Egypt is a country in Africa, all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. But they'd been there for 400 years, and then a pharaoh, a king, came into power, and he didn't like the Israelites. And so he made them his slaves, and he made them work for him, and he treated them badly, and their life was incredibly hard. God loved his people, and he wanted to rescue them, so he prepared someone to come rescue them. Do you know who that was? It was Moses. God prepared Moses to be the one that he would use to rescue them. And so if you want to read the story, ask your parents to, to read the story to you from the book of Exodus about all the plagues that came and how God used each one of them um, to show that he was the one true God. And so after all this time of being stuck in Egypt, God rescued the people of Israel and he took them out of Egypt. And once they were out, he gave them the Ten Commandments, the Ten Good Rules. Now, here's a question. Which did he do first? Did he rescue them or give them the Ten Commandments? Which one did he do first? He rescued them. And here's why that's important. With rules, a lot of times we can think, if I just do all the rules, then everything will be perfect. But we're not perfect. And God knows that. He knew the Israelites weren't going to be perfect. He knew they weren't going to get it right all the time. He knows us and loves us and knows we're not going to get it right all the time. So he rescues us. He saves us. And then he gives us rules. It's important to remember that we are rescued and loved first by God. No matter how much we mess it up, we are rescued and loved by God. And then he gives us his 10 good rules so that we can love others, so that we can live well with others. And so that's why um, it's important to remember that. And speaking of remembering, Let's do our verse from last week from the book of Leviticus. You ready? Let's see if you can remember the signs. Remember my laws and rules and obey them. Good. All right. If you'll stand up and find a grown up and look at them and let's bless them. Ready? May the Lord be with you and also with you. Have a good morning.